All right, here is three different methods on cleaning a flame sensor. There's plenty of videos out there that can help you to determine whether the flame sensor is your problem, but this is just one that is going to show you how to clean it three different ways. All right, this is a, a dirty flame sensor. There's three of them here. Okay, and just to give you a comparison, this is a brand new one. So you can obviously see the difference. Clean, dirty. Okay, three different ways you can clean it. One way, steel wool. This has been used for many, 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 many years. Steel wool. Do not use an SOS pad. It has all kinds of different things in there. You don't want it to disturb the flame sensor doing it. So one way we're going to do it is with a steel wool. Number two way is sandpaper. Um, I've heard some old timers tell me that sandpaper is the worst thing you can use because when sand is heated up to a certain degrees, it will turn into glass and it'll put a shiny coating on the flame sensor. I generally don't use this, but this does work. And the last and final is just a scraper. You can use a putty knife. Uh, this is a, I believe it's a six in one or whatever they call these things. It's like a painting tool. You could use any one of these, okay? So first thing we'll do is we'll use the steel wool. Just want to wrap it around it. These usually don't take that long to clean. It's more usually just trying to get all of the debris off of there. Okay. There's your cleaned with steel wool. And here's your brand new one, of course. Okay. So there's your steel wool, sandpaper working the exact same way basically sandpaper does take probably the least amount of time That's what I've always noticed and sandpaper does do a good job if you notice too here is your sandpapered one brand new one. Not much of a difference really if you noticed. They're both clean looking. And the last one is your awl. There's a couple different ways you could do it. This actually has a scraper part onto it. So it just really depends. You can put it down, scrape it back and forth. This one probably takes the longest amount of time, most likely, I'd say. Sandpaper, obviously, you can notice it was probably one of the quicker ones. And there we go on this one. Okay, this will get your furnace up and running, obviously, so, so there's three different ways to clean a flame sensor. Again, here's the brand new one, right out of the package. Here's your steel wool, not so bad. Your sandpaper, probably the best when it comes to cleaning it, and the simplest. And then your scraper. The whole idea is just to get it cleaned. Obviously, you're not going to get it down to brand new, generally speaking, but for the most part, that's your whole objective. To get it down to that. So there's three different ways you can clean a flame sensor. They all work. Again, sometimes some of the old timers say sandpaper is the worst thing because the sand will still say yeah, on there. You have a little residue. So, but if that's the case, then just you know, bring it off as much as you can if that was a concern. But this will still get you back up and running. So there you go. Take care.